Hey guys, gonna do a video today of uh, O-ring and cylinder heads. Um, so we're gonna start with a 12 valve head um, and then you'll see me installing rings on a 6-7 head. I had a bunch of them to do at the shop this week so just kind of taping in between here um, when I have time. Um, so here's the here's the 12 valve head um, that you're gonna see me. I'm gonna, just gonna cut one ring um, because you know you, you cut one ring and then do the exact same thing for every one of them um, This is just for setup here So to start with um, I set that on there just because I wanted to set the to Make sure I had the machine the diameter because um, every head and I should say every head's different, but um, Every different head so a 12 valve is different than a common rail 5.9 or a common rail 6.7 or doing six liters or six fours or they're all a little bit different. It's the same process basically. So um, what I still need to do, just zero machine so I know nothing moves, is that I gotta make sure the head is flat from side to side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the O-ring tool out. I'll show you guys the O-ring tool here. So you'll be able to see it in the video very well. It's literally just a, a small, cause a small square groove. So there again, not rocket science. Now what we're gonna do here, put this down some more. Just want to make sure. Yeah, we're low on that side. So what I'm gonna have to do? So we just loosen our fixed string off here. Now, usually I'll run back and forth on this too, um, just to make sure you level from, from end to end. Um, but I've already done it. I, I already knew that I was four thou out, so I'm just not gonna go through the procedure. It's the exact same thing. It's just that we'll run the table from this corner to this corner and make sure that we're level um, on that way. Um, but being, like I said, I've already checked it, so I already know. So it's not a big deal. So put this back in. And we're gonna set our gasket on here one more time, just because it's a lot easier to move it right now than it is to try to fix something that we did wrong.
And here all I'm checking is just to make sure um, basically just making sure that the cutter is falling in the right spot on that fire ring. Now the the tool that I used for doing the fire rings, you can use that tool for doing this as well. Um, it's a little slower for doing it. Um, so that's the reason that we do it on here. Um, but does, you know, as good or as good a job as, as doing it this way. So, you know, if that's what you want to do, by all means, you could use that. Now you look at all kinds of different people that, you know, the protrusion on the, on the O-ring, how much they want it to stick out. Um, on this application, um, we leave a, a 12 thou protrusion with a stock head gasket thickness. So now the thicker the head gasket, the more protrusion you can run. Uh, you don't want to run more than 70 five or you don't want to run more than 25 percent of what your head gasket thickness is um that being said um i've had real good luck with these at 12 just adds enough seat pressure you're putting studs in it anyway you have to put studs in it when you do it so um it, it seems to work really well we've never had any issues so i continue to do what we do because um, we never had issues. So, just got to come down here until we hit our reference for a zero. Just touching there. So we'll zero the machine off. I said we're going to come down twenty eight thou on this one. See the receiver groove there? And this head we've already went through. Um, it's already had the seats cut. We surfaced it already, pressure tested, uh, cut for um, hat style seals. Um, just because, uh, you know, you're rebuilding the head, you might as well do it right and be done with it. Um, this isn't, you know, crazy horsepower head by any stretch of the imagination. Guys looking to make like 400, 450 horsepower. Um, but cheap insurance, you know, you know you're having the, the engine being rebuilt, um, you're studding it, might as well O-ring it at the same time and just be done with it, in my eyes anyway. Alright guys, uh, getting to the point here where I got the rings cut, I showed you that earlier in the video here. Um, gonna put the stainless steel wire in uh, this is 41 thou wire um, and then the receiver groove is 39 thou so a little bit of crush fit there so most of the time we just will just flat cut um, the ends you can not 45 degree the ends and put them that way um, which is actually a nicer way of doing it 
Um, the issue is, is that it adds a lot of time to doing the job. So when you're doing it that way, um, you know, it adds at least another $200 to the job just because it is kind of time consuming doing it. Um, you know, you do want to make sure when you're putting them in that um, you're away from bolt holes, um, coolant, coolant, coolant. Um, so I always put them in, in between somewhere that there isn't anything. Still got to tap the ring in there flat. It's not perfectly flat in there yet, but you know that's uh, pretty much it for putting them in. I just got to do the other three. That's uh, pretty much the process of doing it. Like I said, just do all six that way. Um, you know, I just I, at that point uh, put the valves back in this head. We didn't. We just surfaced O-ringed, and the customer wanted us to pull and lap the valves, make sure everything was kosher. Um, because he had a bearing failure um, and the head's not in that bad of shape so um, yeah so if you uh, like the video uh, subscribe if you're looking for more content um, we'll be posting more um, thanks for your time guys